SAS Visual Analytics offers many tools and techniques for exploring, preparing, analyzing, and reporting on your data. I'd like to show you a new way to disaggregate a total measure using a series of list tables in Visual Analytics. Notice how this report breaks down total revenue from left to right across product group, continent name, order year, order type, and supplier name. And it also gives the ability to make a selection or selections and see that breakdown from left to right. You may have seen a decomposition tree like this for breaking down a total measure. But this is not a SAS tool. In SAS Visual Analytics, a similar table can be achieved with what I'm calling drill down list tables. Let's take a look at the live report. This is the live completed drill down list table report in SAS Visual Analytics on SAS VIA. So to the left, we have total revenue, which we're breaking down across all these different categories. And you can see how the totals break down across the categories. But the nice thing about this report is that I can easily sort any of these list tables and make a selection and see the impact of that selection from left to right. So I can see how my highest revenue product group skates breaks down across continents. If I make a selected continent like Europe, my highest revenue producing skate continent, I see that breakdown to the right across total years. If I choose 2016, I see that breakdown to the right by the different order types. And if I choose retail sale, I get the list of my suppliers that contributed to my skate's European revenue for 2016 retail sales. I can make single selections or I can make multiple selections simply by controlling and selecting multiple items. If I want to deselect, control and click to deselect. So how did I create this report? I created a visual analytics report, started with a precision container object to help me control the position and the layout of each individual list table. Then I added a series of list table objects with filter actions between the tables. Let's reconstruct drill down list tables from scratch. So I started by creating a new report in Visual Analytics. My source table is a sample products clean table. So the first step in creating this drill down report is to start with a precision container object. So to the left, I'll go to objects and I'm gonna add a precision container to my canvas. Now. It Right now, it looks like an empty container because I haven't added my list table objects. But the beauty of adding the precision container first is that it, it will help me control the positioning and the layout of my individual list tables. So let's start to add list tables. So I'm going to go to the left under tables and drag a list table object into my canvas and precision container. With that list table selected, I'm gonna to go to my roles on the right 
and I'm going to choose my total measure that I want to break down. And in this case, it's going to be total revenue. So this is just a simple grand total of total revenue. Now here's the beauty of the precision container. I can resize my list table and position it where I want it. And because this is my total that I'm gonna be breaking down, I'm gonna position it to the middle so it stands out a little bit. And I'm gonna go to my options on the right. And I'm just gonna make it stand out a little bit more with a little bit of formatting. So I'm gonna to go to my table headings and I'm going to add a background color. I'm also gonna to go to my cells and add the same background color. And I'm just gonna cho choose a bigger, bolder font. Now I'm going to add another list table object. So going to my objects on the left, adding another list table, going to my roles on the right. And this time I'm going to add product group and total revenue. I'm going to do a little bit of formatting of this as well. So with my product group total revenue list table selected. I'm gonna to go to my options. And for the table, I'm going to add a background color. For my cells, I'm going to remove any vertical and horizontal lines. And I'm going to add a grand total at the bottom but I won't show the label of sum. And I'm just gonna make the font bold for my grand total, just so it stands out and also adding a background color. Now I'm going to resize this product group total revenue list table, resizing the width and the height as well. and repositioning it closer to the total revenue. Now going forward, I'm just going to duplicate this table and make changes to the category. So I'm simply gonna click on the three dots to the right, duplicate, move it over, Go to my roles on the right and change product group to continent name. Because I have a lot less continent names, I'm gonna resize this list table so that it's a lot shorter in height. And I'm gonna keep duplicating and lining up these list tables. For my next list table, I'm gonna go over to my roles and change my continent name to order year. Duplicate this for order type. So modify this one from order year to order type. Again, just move it over, reposition it. Okay. Duplicate this. Select it, go to the roles. 
And this is my last little table. Change order type to supplier name. There are a lot more suppliers. So I need to move things over and just line them up a little better. Now that I, now that I have my list tables added for my categories of interest, I can add filter actions between the tables. So I'm going to start with my product group list table, making sure I'm in editing mode with it selected. I'm going to go over to the right, select actions, and add a filter action between the selected table and the table to the right, which is the list table for continent name. Then I'm going to select the continent name list table and add a filter action between that table and the table to the right, order year, list table for order year. Then I'm going to choose the order year list table, go over to my actions, choose the table to the right, which is the list table order type under my object links, and the filter action for that. Next, I'll choose my order type table, then go to the right, choose my object link table to the right, supplier name. Ensuring for all of these that the filter funnel is selected to the right of the list table name under object links. So that builds the filter actions from left to right between the tables. So let's test this out. Let's go to the top left and switch to view mode. If you have any items selected on any of the individual tables, you can control and click to remove any selections. So our starting point is the total revenue across all the categories, product group, continent name, order year, order type, and supplier name. Now let's make selections. You can sort if you want to by clicking on any column. So you can sort by the total revenue or alphabetically by your category values. And make single selections if you choose or multiple selections and watch the breakdown happen from left to right as you make your selections. The nice thing about this is you can easily modify this report for different measures. Simply go back into edit mode, go into your roles, and modify for the appropriate category and or measure. So this could have easily been total profit or total costs. And then these could easily be changed to different categories. So the next time you need to disaggregate a total measure, consider using this drill down list table approach.